Now at 6.30, a campus crime alert. A man accused of groping young women and exposing himself strikes again. The description that matches up in each incident and how he's getting his victim's attention in the first place. Thieves muscle their way into a wrestling team fundraiser. What was stolen from Churchill High School and why there's a positive side to the story. It's the final piece of the puzzle, the last of five businesses shut down by an arsonist in the Santa Clara area, cleans up and gets ready to open. What it's taken to get shooters back in business. And are you geared up for game day? We'll look more at the new swag selling at the Duck Store and who some of the profits will help. I'm Angela Brower. This is News Source 16 at 6.30. Live in Western Oregon, you're watching KMTR News Source 16. And this is News Source at 6.30. We have a, a minimum of four incidents right now that we know of that uh, seem highly likely to be connected. Four harassment reports, and there may be more. Tonight, the search is on for a suspect accused of an inappropriately touching young women near the U of O campus. Campus Public Safety says each incident involves some type of indecent exposure or unwanted touching, and the suspect descriptions are nearly identical. The crime alert is our top story at 630. On August 18th, the woman says a man asked for directions at 18th and University. Then he grabbed and groped her. Five days later, two more similar reports, one at 14th and Villard, and later that day near the law school at 15th and Agate. A woman says a man was flashing and fondling himself. DPS says if you see anything suspicious on campus or if you've been approached by this man, report it right away. Don't hesitate to call us. Uh, we want to make sure to get that information, even if it's something that you're, you know, somebody's not sure um, if it was a crime or not. We'd like to have that information. Now, the suspect is white, around 20 years old, with short blonde or light brown hair parted on the left. He's about five foot six. In tonight's Crime Tracker, thieves target a high school wrestling team's scrap metal fundraiser. They made off with hundreds of dollars worth of metal in the middle of the night. The Churchill wrestling team spent most of Saturday taking an unwanted metal. The plan was to recycle it and use the money to pay for team travel and entry fees. But overnight, the coach and a few parents caught a group stealing out of the dumpster in the school parking lot. Police say a law passed in 2010 had drastic impacts on metal thefts, knocking reports off the radar. But now they're starting to see more sporadic spikes. In the Churchill case, though, officers say it could be a case of mistaken trash. They go from uh, dumpster to dumpster, business to business, looking for scrap metal. And we often run into cases where they'll take something that actually holds some value to someone else and they'll report it as stolen, and we've had a few cases that have been prosecuted for that. Now, the wrestling coach estimates that the thieves stole about a quarter of what they had. The team will be out collecting more scrap donations tomorrow. A&E Towing has offered to pick up anything larger than a car for free. Detectives caught up with two men accused of breaking into a Springfield store to steal wires and cable. William Trailer and Charles Stevenson are facing attempted theft, burglary, and criminal mischief charges. Police say the alarm went off at the General Trailer store on A Street at around 3.30 this morning. They say Stevenson gave himself up when he heard the barking police dog. An autopsy will be performed tomorrow on a Coos Bay man who died after being left dead in a driveway this weekend. And now they're looking for the man who may have beat him to death. Neighbors called 911 Saturday night after hearing loud banging noises. They saw Randall Harless and another man fighting in the driveway in front of his RV. The 55 year old lived on his parents property in Augustine. When police got there, Harless was already on the ground in critical condition. He died at the hospital. Uh, they were describing a fight. Uh, well, a one-sided fight is what they were describing, and with uh, Mr. Harless being the uh, victim, the other person being the aggressor. Neighbors say the suspect walked away from Harless when they threatened to call police. He was last seen headed south on Augustine toward a forest trail. He's about six feet tall, 200 pounds, and carrying a backpack. Coos Bay police are still investigating a motive. If you know the victim and can help, they'd like to talk to you too.
The Duck Store is helping fans gear up for game day just five days away at Austin Stadium. The new football jerseys hit the shelves last week. Saturday, we got our first look at this year's Spirit Tee. If you're shopping, keep in mind the color schedule is also new this year. Every game has a corresponding team color. This weekend, it's green. Already, the Duck Store says it's had to restock the supply of jerseys. The Spirit Tee is also in stores right now. That's eight bucks, and the Duck is in front and center with a new slogan. I'm Ducky and I know it uh, is a fun slogan. It's gotten a lot of great response. We've already sold a, a lot of them. It's right on pace for where it was last year. And the main thing is it's helping the cheerleaders and the band help support their department. So that's really what you're buying the shirt for. And this year's team football poster is also available, but they're not free anymore. The poster is bigger and printed on better materials, so it costs a dollar. Those proceeds will help support cheerleading. The Eugene M's are back at home tonight and trying to make the playoffs again this year. And you can help raise money for the local Boys and Girls Club while you cheer on the team. It's name your own price night at PK Park. Half of what you give for the ticket will be donated to a nonprofit. Earlier games raised nearly $2,000 for the Special Olympics and $1,300 for the Relief Nursery. The M's general manager is hoping to knock both of those out of the park tonight. The goal, $2,500. That the fans really turn out to support the club as we hopefully pursue a championship that has eluded the team since 1980. And the M's are tied for first place with Vancouver with five games left. Game time is at 7.05.